Now to a special investigative piece looking into a rising issue in Berkshire County. You have likely seen them on city street corners, on highway exits and ramps, panhandlers with signs in hand seeking just a few dollars. Well, experts say the COVID-19 pandemic adding to that population. 13 Investigates Tessa Ventulin joins us now for her report on panhandling. What's going on behind the sign? Tessa. Hi, Rachel and Elaine. Panhandling has been going on for years in many cities and towns. We've seen it happen in Saratoga Springs, Albany, Colony, and much beyond that. Each one trying to combat the problem in different ways, whether it's directing people to donate to charities instead, or trying to set rules for panhandlers. 13 Investigates is taking a closer look at Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Residents there say they've noticed more panhandlers popping up in recent years. But who are these people? And why is the COVID-19 pandemic making it a bigger issue? Pittsfield is a small city in the Berkshires with a busy downtown. On most days, especially on a sunny day, you'll find several panhandlers along East Street. These are some of the faces of panhandling. You'll usually find Sean sitting in front of this street light. He's not homeless, but he says he does this to make ends meet. Sean makes about 60 to $70 a day. He says his amputated leg helps with his daily collectings. The sign Sean holds says he needs a helping hand. So Sean says he's not lying as long as his sign does not say he's homeless. Shannon is homeless and she does not make much. She says she's been out in the streets since October. For Dan and Ashley, a couple, they've been jumping from place to place. Dan just got a job and his own apartment, but Ashley is still in search of something more stable. And then there's Dave. He's out on the streets a lot and living with his parents temporarily. More than 200 people likely experienced homelessness in Pittsfield in January, according to the Western Massachusetts Network to End Homelessness. That's about 80 more people than the start of the pandemic. Homelessness and panhandling aren't the same thing, but they go hand in hand. The pandemic really has just escalated issues. So as I mentioned earlier, housing. Housing is really hard to find. If you find it, the rents are so much higher now. Aaron Forbush with ServiceNet, a group designed to help the homeless in Pittsfield, says it's a tight market. A big part of her job is to get people into affordable housing. Incomes aren't necessarily changing and the way people are working in the workforce has changed. So all of those pieces combined, I think, are just people are finding themselves needing to supplement income or look for some help with housing. Data from 2015 to 2019 shows about 50% of renters lived in a household which is cost burdened. In other words, much of their paycheck is going towards rent and utilities. 25% of renters in Pittsfield were severely cost burdened. And that's before the pandemic even started. Forbush says the current low barrier shelter is this old high school where the homeless can also work with a case manager. On average, they help about 50 people daily, and the shelter is open 24-7, which was not the case before the pandemic. Well, there is a need to have more affordable housing. There's a need to have a variety of housing. And some of the people we showed you at the beginning of the story do use that shelter, including Shannon and Ashley. And for Sean, the man who panhandles to make ends meet, this man right here, it begs the question, why does Sean have to do this to be able to exist? ServiceNet is going to move to a new shelter in just a few months with financial help from the city of Pittsfield. But the presence of more panhandlers has affected the community and businesses all around them. We'll explain what they have to say coming up on Live at 6. Now to our special reporting, panhandling in the Berkshires, a group that supports the homeless, says the need to help them has escalated since the pandemic. And as we explained at 5 o'clock, a big problem is a lack of affordable housing. New at 6, how do business owners feel about all of this in Pittsfield? 13 Investigates Tessa Pentulin joins us once again explaining this part of her report, panhandling, what's going on behind the sign. Good evening, Tessa. Good evening, Sabrina and Mark. It really depends on who you ask. Some people tell me they're not really bothered by 
by the panhandlers. Others say this is not a way to live, but everyone agrees that they need help. Thirteen investigates focus the story around Pittsfield, Massachusetts, after receiving some emails about more and more panhandlers popping up in recent years. We went out for ourselves and noticed most panhandlers are scattered around this main intersection on East Street, many holding signs asking for money and sometimes food. Officials with ServiceNet, a group who works to improve the lives of the homeless, says affordable housing is hard to find. Having good relationships with landlords helps them, but it's still not easy. ServiceNet says incomes aren't necessarily changing, but the way people are working in the workforce has changed. People living in the neighborhood did not feel comfortable speaking on camera, but two businesses who are located on the same street as the panhandlers gave us answers you might not expect. I mean, it's actually been quite simple. They tend not to come in, but if they do come in, they're asking for money and we decline and we just say we can't help them out and they leave. I mean, it's never a, it's never this horrible, you know, interaction or anything like that. They're respectful and they just, they try and when they can't, they go elsewhere. I'd say 95% of the time people are almost always nice. Uh, you know, there's definitely people that cause problems occasionally, but the vast majority of them are nothing but pleasant people. But Tucker McNinch, the owner of Patrick's Pub, tells us about the other 5% of the time. I actually had to pick up a needle that was on the floor of the bathroom that someone went in, used, and then left directly after. So there's definitely been some issues. Well, affordable housing is one of the biggest issues causing a surge of panhandlers and homelessness after the pandemic. It's not the only one. A professor with UAlbany says COVID-19 revealed fractures in certain systems, and we'll explain that and some solutions to help the panhandlers in part two tomorrow on Live at 5.